Hi friends, Denise here. I am shooting a really quick video today of what sold in the past 24 hours, replacing what I'm shipping. I am about to ship all of these things, but logistically, I didn't want to get everything set up. So I'm just going to get right into what sold. The first item that sold is this men's Marmot is the brand. It's an outdoor gear brand, outdoor clothing brand. You know, I would say on caliber with North Face. I don't know off the top of my head what some of these things sold for. So I'm gonna put, like I usually do, what the item sold for. All the, a lot of these had discounted shipping on them. So I will put what my proceeds were. I picked that up at the bins. I like to call it about $2 an item, but that definitely didn't weigh a pound. Next up is this really beautiful, my favorite, I've decided I need to work on that. Every, I call everything beautiful. This really soft and lovely, it's a halogen, which is the Nordstrom House brand, 100% cashmere scarf, shrug, it's very soft and goes over the shoulder. What's funny about that is that was in my closet and I had picked it up at the bins and I just, I love cashmere and I love the idea of a cashmere wrap. And I decided that I would seek out something a little bit more neutral toned. And so I put that in my closet and I actually bought a cashmere blend shrug on Poshmark. And I just got it last week. And I think it's really funny that this sold and it basically paid for the shrug that I already bought on Poshmark. The next item is this super adorable, it's just a boho style blouse. It's gingham. The brand is airy. It has a really nice roomy fit. Like this is a large, but it has a lovely roomy fit. The material super soft, balloon sleeve, light blue and navy blue gingham check. The last clothing item that I sold was this Lauren by Ralph Lauren. It's just a black 100% linen shirt. Someone did ask me if it was mis machine washable, and it is. I believe all linen is, unless it has a lining and the machine wash could impact the lining. Had super fun details, um, like the sleeves cuffed up and just says uh, Ralph Lauren, or has the RLL on the pocket. That is in really great condition, barely has any signs of wear. Another random item that I sold are these three balls, skeins of cotton hemp. I do know off the top of my head that I sold these to a $20 offer. I did not pay anything towards shipping. I got these at the bins, so perfect. Next up, my favorite. <laughs> These were posted for maybe 48 hours. Probably one of the best selling items in my closet. These really cute dance goes. They have a little bit of a sole, than the different sole than the normal professional dance goes, and they're suede. You know, sometimes I'll look at an item like this and say, oh gosh, I don't know if I want to sell this because the soles are in great shape. All of the trim was in great shape, which is something you really need to check on with dance goes. They're in great condition, but they do have some wear to the suede. And I actually posted a video of these because they have this cool gold shimmer to them and only the video could pick it up. Like I couldn't pick it up in a photo. So I thought, oh, I'll just put a little video and then people can see what condition the suede is in. And I believe they sold for $30. Bought them at the bins on Thursday. Very happy. I have a really good item for my last item. 
This is what they call a balance board. The brand is Suff Suffolk. Suffolk makes ballet shoes, dance clothing, leotards, uh, dance accessories, dance bags. My one of my daughters, I remember she actually bought this with her own money. She wanted it. And you put on your ballet shoes and then you use this to, it's kind of got grip tape on it like a skateboard. You use this just to balance when you're working out at home. That sold, I want to say, for $15. And I was just kind of reorganizing two of these bigger bins that I have that have shoes and accessories in my garage yesterday. And I thought to myself, oh, I wish this would sell because A, it has grip tape on it, which is like sandpaper, and B, it was just such a big size. So the other fun part is now finding a box to actually ship that weird shaped object in. And my last item, which is currently my favorite item, I do so well with fry boots. These are what they call Melissa button boots. This finish on it is called a crackle. I could actually only find one comp for these and they were a size 10. I did get them at the bins. I listed them for 175 and within 30 minutes someone offered me 148 which was a 15% discount and I took it right away. So these boots paid for my trip to the bins and I actually have only posted shoes that I got at my trip on Thursday and I haven't posted any of the clothes yet and I probably have at least 50 items so amazing thank you to the person who purchased these they are beautiful I own Melissa button boots and they're actually one of my favorite styles and these are very rare and unique in this crackle finish the lovely thing about distressing is that you really don't have to worry about the condition of them or the condition of the suede or anything I mean they're just super distressed and that's how they came from the factory so those are the items that I'm shipping today and I have a couple of other videos that I haven't cut yet that are waiting on the card of my camera and I'm going to sit down and cut a few of those videos which is actually a shipping video from last week and just some things that I've recently picked up like the shoes that I just got at the bins this week which had some new to me brands, some brands that I'm trying out. I love the bins for trying out things. It's like I probably wouldn't pay up for these at a thrift store, but yeah, I'll buy these lucky brand shoes at the bins and see what happens. Kudos to the dance goes and the boots for selling right away and I look forward to getting the other items posted so I've already almost made my money back. I did spend a, a big, I think I spent $200 at the bin so I'm almost there and have to wash and clean and photograph about 50 more items. I hope you enjoyed this. If you'd like to share what's selling in your closet, please do.